What's up everyone, Sinister Dragon here and today we'll be checking out the Habit HV-SK159BT also known as the Habit Lighthouse. So, the Habit Lighthouse is, as you can guess, a Bluetooth speaker, which we have right here. So, as you can see, compared to other Bluetooth speakers, this one's actually quite bigger, as well as heavier. I would say this is one of the heavier Bluetooth speakers that I have used and tested personally. Now this does have a little bit of extra features than I would say most Bluetooth speakers have. For instance, this does have an FM radio and if you look up top, has a bunch of different ports up there. On top we have USB, a charging USB, you could put a micro SD card in this as well as your aux port. Now, as far as the speaker configuration on this particular Bluetooth speaker, we have a tweeter up top and a base, base port on the bottom. Uh, I actually like this dual speaker setup. You can definitely tell the highs uh, definitely play out of this upper speaker. And in essence, well, because of this, the highs and mids are pretty phenomenal when using this speaker. Unfortunately, I felt like the bass was a little lacking. It didn't rock anything, uh, but the sound was pretty true to the music. I was able to enjoy classical, pop, rock, rap. I was able to enjoy a variety of music using this, and in the end, that's what's really important. Uh, about these Bluetooth speakers, you're not, they're not a professional sound system. They're not going to have amazing bass. But I did feel like I wanted just a little bit more bass. If it just turned it up just a little bit, I would have been 1000% happy instead of 900% happy. I did really enjoy using this speaker, and because of its rugged nature, these, there's rubber in the bottom and the tap, and it's made of pretty high quality plastic that you can take this on the move while you go hiking or when you're at the beach. The speaker is definitely one to be used wire outside. Now why do I say that? Well let me turn this on and maybe you'll get a glimpse of why this is called the lighthouse. So at first as you can see all the way around the speaker there's a bunch of lights that uh, go along with the music, you can say. You could change these, however, there's different modes. But this right here is why it's really called the lighthouse. These white strips light up, and you're able to use this as sort of a torch or a lantern as you're perhaps uh, outside enjoying uh, some camping. You can also change the lights, the multicolored lights. As well, there's different modes for that. So overall, I really enjoyed using the speaker. It's got a lot of different uh, modes, including the FM, AM, all the different inputs that you can use on this. I felt like the music quality was pretty sound. Like I said, the bass is a little low, but that's all right because I was able to definitely enjoy all different types of music while using this and I do like the lighted features I was able to listen to music outside and not worry about anything I took this to the beach a couple of times and even while going hiking and this fell down and it's able to get a pretty gnarly beating and still work so I was actually really quite surprised with how well the lighthouse stood up to taking a beating uh, I definitely recommend the Habit Lighthouse, especially, <coughs> excuse me, especially if you're on the go type of person, if you like to go outside, this is definitely something you should consider picking up. 
over the other Bluetooth speakers. Thank you guys. If you did enjoy this video and this review, go ahead and you know what to do, hit that like button. If you didn't, hit the dislike button. Leave a comment down below if you use a pretty heavy duty Bluetooth speaker for yourself. And if you're not subscribed already, please go ahead and subscribe. Subscribe helps me out a lot. Anyways, take care, peace out, and I hope you have a good one, guys. Bye.